So next exercise I'm going to move on to is my chest or muscle group, I should say. And then we'll do a superset with my back. Supersetting again, just to kind of give some context. There is nothing wrong with supersetting an exercise if your focus is hypertrophy. If you are concerned in any way, shape or form about your strength, then recovery time matters. Um, for hypertrophy specific outcomes, you can rest as little as 30 seconds, provided that the loads that you're choosing doesn't then start to compromise your rep range, say less than eight. And so if you do a set, you rest for 30 seconds. If you can get back in and lift that same load for 10 reps, great. <laughs> um, but if you start to fall short and you're only able to get in five or four, then you're not really getting an adequate amount of recovery time. So, um, I guess for this particular exercise, I'm going to be doing a low to high cable pull. This is going to lengthen my anterior shoulder a little bit more. So I know for me, the low position, I am not as strong in that lengthened position. So I've got less support here in that lengthened stretch position. So it's harder than if I'm doing a high to low. I'm actually a little bit more centralized here. I can redistribute that load a little bit more evenly between my chest and my shoulder. I can lift more. So when you do set yourself up for this machine, if you're used to doing a normal high to low cable, then take the pins back down. So something else just to think about when you're doing these kinds of exercises, if you want to effectively load your chest, you probably need a good amount of weight, right? But that requires you to stabilize. So when you're getting down into this exercise, make sure that you've got a good like athletic stance and that before you try and lift anything, you wanna make sure that you are bracing your glutes. These are a powerhouse, they're very strong. So squeezing your glutes, keeping your core activated and engaged, and you wanna come out just far enough so that you've got that full extension. If you're kind of back in here, you're really only doing kind of partial reps. And with that being said, it's not necessarily a bad thing, or at least based on the current body of research, it wouldn't suggest that we're impeding our hypertrophy outcomes in any way, but you might find that you have to do a lot more reps in that shortened position. You are typically stronger when there are more cross bridges in your actin and myosin, and your muscle is able to kind of get better contraction. Whereas when they're lengthened, you've got less of those cross bridges and it's more difficult to contract your muscle. So it's just a lot harder in that lengthened position. 